Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosso. So I wanted to take a look recently at a couple of privacy conscious apps or the more secure end-to-end -end encrypted messaging apps. Uh, now, you know, I'm not, not a sketchy person, not selling drugs on the internet, but now and again, I do have, a, do have uses or times where I'm like, it would be really useful if I could use an app whereby um, I didn't, firstly, I didn't require a PII. That's less of a thing for me. Some people don't like the idea of handing over any personally identifiable information to a technology company. There are hardcore privacy people. What interested me more about this app called Session was this notion that you could have two people talking on the internet who didn't know who the other party was. So you'd have two people talking on Twitter, two people talking on Reddit. Um, you know, examples of social networks where there was anonymity could be easily achieved. And those two people would have a means of contacting one another in a manner that did not divulge their identity. Now, if their identity is not divulged to the service provider, to the company operating this app, or to the other party, then they've got a pretty nice system going on for anonymization. Now, what, what would you want to use this for? And what, what do I occasionally think about this for? Well, white hat use cases would be really stuff like whistleblowing. If you're a, a political dissident in an oppressive regime, if you're a journalist who wants to contact sources in those kind of regimes and you want to, uh, the sources either want to protect themselves or you want to protect your sources, then something like this could be really, really useful. Now, wherever there is white hat anonymity, there's going to be black hat anonymity. So just as this has use cases for facilitating the white hat use cases of anonymity, there is going to be shady people using this app too. I think that's gonna be pretty much guaranteed or expected at least. Now, what interested me about Session was a couple of things. So firstly, unlike, and you know, when people talk about these kind of more secure uh, app messaging applications, two names prop up, crop up disproportionately. One of those is Signal, the other is Telegram. So people will say, you know, I don't like the fact that WhatsApp is owned by Facebook and I don't like what I'm seeing in their terms of service. What can I use that's more secure? And people will say Telegram or Signal. Signal probably higher up there than Telegram. And Session is kind of higher up there again. It's like there are things that's, that uh, Signal does that you may not like, such as the fact that you do need, if you install it conventionally from Android, you go through the Play Store, um, et cetera. And this is really, really seamless or from a PII standpoint, fingerprintless um, in terms of how this can be installed. So you go on to Get Session and you've got your download options here, including for desktop. Now, um, what is just, they've definitely built this in a deliberate manner, thinking about, thinking through all the things that uh, really privacy conscious folk might, might need. For instance, for Android, there's an APK download as well as the Play Store download. So if you didn't want to, uh, if you wanted to run a Google-less Android device and there are ways to do that, then you can install APK onto any operating system that supports APK, including Android, um, and uh, that way you can install this without needing to go. Because once you're in the Play Store, the Play Store is attached to your email, the device is attached to the Play Store, etc. all fingerprints. So Get's Session has really uh, done a good job at figuring out ways to um, to circumnavigate that for people concerned about such matters. Cross-platform, now this being a geeky kind of an app or the kind of thing that tech geeks would definitely be into, unsurprised to see there is Linux. Now this this uh, session business, it's up, it is open source and from what I understand, it's a fork of Signal. So you can go onto their GitHub um, repository over here and they have separate repos for session desktop, session Android and session iOS. So you can go in and just take a look at the at the code base. Now, I don't know enough about this. I don't know enough about Signal's code um, to really be able to comment too much about it. What I did read is that it's taken um, some of, it's it's gone a little bit further than Signal. So in terms of uh, reducing the metadata being collected from the user, but that's not really what interested me about Session. What interested me about Session was again, the fact that if we've two people on the internet, Reddit, accounts, Twitter handles. Can we find a way that they're going to contact one another anonymously without party A knowing who's party B? 
And if you think about that with stuff like WhatsApp, it already gets difficult. To install WhatsApp, you need a phone number. You can get a virtual phone number. Um, often there are difficult to uh, sign up for stuff using virtual phone numbers. So it's already getting messy. Telegram, I believe there are ways, uh, but this looked to be, this to me looked like, wow, this is actually designed for this kind of thing. So, um, so anyway, that's the um, GitHub and they have a website called oxen.io in which you can check out their development roadmap and some other cool things. Now, without further ado, I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go in and download this for Ubuntu. So in the download section, just click on the Linux button and let's just take a look at what this looks like and how much I've had to tell Session about who I am. Now, obviously, the privacy, the privacy conscious people would say, well, mistake one is you're not using a VPN, so you could do all these things. Um, I presume you could use it from behind a VPN. Now, there's a couple of interesting articles I came across on the internet regarding Session. RestorePrivacy.com has an explainer about this or kind of a review. It's from March 23rd, so relatively new. Uh, send messages, not metadata. And it uh, makes a few points. Uh, this is from Heinrich Lang. Um, so he says, a session is a fork of signal. Important. End-to-end um, -end encryption, of course, in a secure messaging app, you'd expect end-to-end -end encryption. Um, and then he makes a couple of observations about how this works. He said, session can do this because it connects users through a Tor-like network of service nodes. Service nodes are servers that pass messages back and forth through the network as well as provide additional services. So that's definitely something that's important to know if you're thinking about using this, that it's a node-based system. The onion request system that session uses to protect messages ensures that no service node in the network ever knows both a message's origin, IP, and destination. This allows you to hide your IP by default. I guess if you say so, um, again, I'm not qualified to dig into the, into the nuances of this, but just this is, what, this is how it's supposed to work. Um, he gives more details about it. Now, um, Oxen.io is, is a company, as I mentioned. This is significant. Um, now, what I thought would have been really, really useful from my perspective when I was thinking about how could I use this kind of a thing or how could uh, privacy advocates and um, journalistic sources and whistleblowers use this video and uh, voice, VOIP, would have been really, really useful. Unfortunately, they're not um, there at the moment, as it says here. Uh, now, I checked, out, I checked out Session like a month ago, so it doesn't look like anything's changed um, session now handles basic messaging functions. It doesn't have some of the features that competitors like Signal or Telegram do. It does not yet do voice or video calls. Um, if you need those capabilities, you need to look at a different messenger app. Now, you're getting into complicated business here when you're looking for ways to anonymously set up phone calls or video meetings. Um, workarounds, you could set up a burner address, create a Zoom, Zoom using that and send out links using um, uh, using session. One suggestion. Uh, VOIP, I don't know, but uh, probably somebody watching this video, if anyone does watch this video, will know a session. Uh, will know an idea. So let me just go ahead and check out how this looks on Ubuntu. Okay, so we have a 105 megabyte app image currently downloading. Um, onto my computer here and uh, let's just go and take a quick look at what is in sight or how that looks like. And I'm running here Ubuntu, I think it's 2010, uh, not LTS, one of the like next releases up and let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just going through the kind of usual um, installation procedure when you get a program packaged as an app image on Ubuntu, I've just put it into its own folder in my programs, uh, programs area and just to verify um, I need to just raise the permissions so that it can run. And now let's take a look. Okay, so now session has come to life and suggested that we begin a session. So um, this is a homepage here. You've got a create session ID, restore your account and link a device. So this is quite useful that if you have session on your phone and your computer, there is a way to do multi-device just like you can on Telegram. Um, and signal um, that is still preserves the anonymity of the overall system, but the default way is just to click on create a session. So let's see what that does for us. Okay, so I've just clicked on create your session ID 
and um, I have my um, unique session ID coming up there, which is pretty cool. So um, using this, I can now go in. I'm just blurring some of the some of the numbers and letters here, um, and I can begin to uh, share that out with other session users. Okay, so I'm not really doing a very good job of trying to stay anonymous using this. Um, I've configured my screen name as Daniel R, which is uh, which is a bit of a giveaway. But this is how it looks on the inside and. Now, uh, this is going to be sort of a, just to keep this video short, I have used this thing before with somebody, uh, but it's a bit of a pain to ask some, one of your friends to download Session to try out this, this crazy privacy focused app with me, but it does work really well. So uh, what I did do is just kind of copied over here my uh, Session ID um, and put that onto my computer and then I can send that out. Uh, but I just want to show you guys what the actual app looks like on the inside. So once you have contacts, they'll appear, they'll appear here. You can change around a few, session, uh, a few settings and you can join open groups like Oxen has a group or if you know a group URL, you can go into it too. So I'm just gonna see what happens if I go into the Oxen group and see what's happening on the inside. And uh, looks like, uh, ah, here we go. So you can see people are uh, chatting and this is their session IDs. Um, that you can contact them. Now there's a lot of, it's just loading up some of the older messages here. Um, so that is Session, it's, uh, it's quite powerful. Um, in terms of how the chat interface looks, it's just like a regular chat uh, interface basically, but um, you can preserve your sessions, but they are going to be uh, tied. So you can do restore account and put in your session ID to get back in uh, to one or just like keep it open um, on your computer, but if you need a new session ID, then you can just generate that without providing a PII and then save that into your password manager or wherever you wanna keep it. Um, and that will allow you to, uh, a mechanism for starting instant chats with other people, whoever those people might be, without them knowing who you are, you knowing who them are besides the screen name. That's the only thing, that's the only detail I gave. And naturally, if you wanna be anonymous, call yourself whatever you want. So um, it's a pretty cool application, uh, messaging app. Um, the negative would really be that it doesn't have uh, voice or video. Now this is how you start a chat. You put in somebody else's session ID. So all I need is my session ID, their session ID, and we have a link. Um, so yeah, that is uh, about it. It's an interest, in, interesting one, you could say, for privacy conscious people. Um, available cross-platform for Linux, for Windows, for Mac, for iOS, and for Android. You can either get it through the Play Store or you can install it as an APK. Thank you guys for watching. More videos on tech stuff coming up soon.